did you start calling this Pinto Art Museum? No, get it to you. Uh, ang nangyari was, uh, uh, na ako, no? this was became my refuge type of thing from the hectic pace of being a doctor and uh, being a teacher. Because I was teaching practically from first year med school to internship and then at the same time doing my clinical practice uh, and introducing neurology to uh, med school and to, uh, I started the uh, Department of Neuroscience in the ERN. So when I came back, 79, the early 80s, no, I, I started to think about you know, uh, really making sure that I stay put in the Philippines. No? Because there were some offers eh, to stay abroad. Sabi ko, meron mong gagawin ko dyan. No? So, then, you know, I, I would come home here, parang ano lang, man nagkagarten ako as a, as a respite from, uh, from uh, work no? until revolution came, until 86. So, after that, no, the people here in Antipolo, they said, okay, let's gather to find out how we can help the community. No? So, the brainstorming came with a lot of professionals, lawyers, most of them were, were uh, marching in EDSA during that time. So, uh, we said, okay, we want Antipol to become a center for art, culture, and ecology. You know, drama. Because uh, uh, Antipolo is uh, very well known for its big breeze, for its Antipolo breeze. No? Pinakaralan ko yun, we, I applied science no? in terms of looking at where the pollution was coming from, blah, blah, blah. And then, nakasama namin sa, sa foundation, we came out with that, the Antipolo Foundation for Art, Culture, and Ecology. Ah, I see. So sabi ko, eh, dito na lang, ako na lang. <laughs> Ako na lang, dito na lang, gagawin ko yun, no? So, and then during that time, mga ano na, we were attracting young artists, students from UP. They used to tell me they could not get into the two established galleries in UP. Sabi ko, sabi ko, oh, wow, ano man ito mga bata nito, no? So, I said one day, I said, okay, ilatang nga ninyo lahat ang mga trabaho nyo. Diyan, titignan natin. Ano yung gawin natin? Sabi, mag-show tayo. Sabi, ha? Mag-show. Sabi ko, saan? Mag-show sa likod. Inibita, inibita ko mga kaibigan ko from Manila. And they had sales for the first time. So, we repeated some buy-in for the three times. Year 2000, no? Year 2000 came. And uh, the artists who were with us uh, the night, uh, December 31, 2019, uh, year 2000, 1999, no? We were here. The following day, sabi namin, sabi nila, I think we should celebrate the new century with a new project. So I said, oh, Sige, let's come out to the new project. That's when Pinto was born. At Bakit Pinto? Because it's the beginning of the new century. It's a door, it's an opening to the new century. Therefore, it's an opening to new possibilities, the new art forms, to dialogues. So, ganun na nangyari. No? So, Ang dami na, ang dami ko nang nabili na paintings, no? So sabi ko, hmm, dito, uh, live in si, uh, si Antonio at that time, was living in one of the rooms, no? Because he, well, he was helping out in the garden. So, oh, Tony, ang dami natin paintings na, ayoko na, nandito na lahat sila sa bedroom. So, Sige, gumawa tayo ng museum. Ito <laughs> na, 2010. So, bumili ako ng mga lupa dyan sa baba. Kasi ito lang yung lupa dati. So, in year 2000, when you opened Pinto, it was just called Pinto Gallery. Gallery. Tapos yung Pinto Art Museum was 10 years later. Nung napakadami ko ng paintings, almost 1,000. 